everyone and welcome to the craft room. I am down here just getting some things cleaned up. I have my the paper tabby kit that I wanted to put away after I was making some master boards with it and just some other things I kind of wanted to clear off the table and I thought I'd take you along with me just for some kind of craft crafting motivation. Um, sometimes if I'm not really feeling like making anything in particular, uh, I usually take some time, put on a podcast or some music and just kind of clean up my craft room and kind of organize things and maybe go through my products a little bit to kind of see what I have and um, to get myself kind of motivated to start creating. Uh, I did a little of that over here. Um, I've talked in my last video about getting my Christmas crafting ready to go. And I actually took it a little bit further and ended up setting up my foldable rolling cart, which I love. I picked this up on Amazon and I use it for everything. But I thought this time I would make uh, kind of a cart with all of my uh, Christmas stamps and uh, dies and things like that and just to have it so I can kind of move it around so when I feel like crafting Christmas cards and things like that I can pull the card up to my desk and do that if I want to make different cards I can push the card away and kind of do something different for a little bit so same goes for over here over here is my kind of scrapbooking journal making desk and I'm getting ready to kind of work on some journals so I needed to kind of clear the decks and put things away and I thought today would be a good day to do that just because I didn't really feel like making anything we, we, I have some a bunch of other things going on and so I don't really have time to start anything but I thought I'd just you know take the time to put things away and I'll take you along with me and you can kind of see my process so I'm really glad I got most of my junk journal supplies organized and labeled. So it's going to be really easy to put things away. So I thought I would just start, I started by sorting and I already actually did that. Um, I took apart my uh, paper tabby kit and kind of organized everything according to the different sections that I have in my junk journal area. So this was a sewing themed kit. Um, I think it was, it was September's kit. So it had a lot of fun sewing pages and things like that. So my loose pages I have a special place for, which I'll show you in a second. So I kind of pulled apart all of the vintage sewing themed pages and put those in a pile. There were some paper clips that were attached to some things and they're really cute. They're like these rose gold colored paper clips. So I thought those would be fun to save. And then I have some stationery over here. And actually what I'll do is I'll just kind of explain it as I put things away. So let's start here with the stationery. So this is kind of um, the stationery from the kit, different little pieces of like note cards and papers and um, little invitations and things like that. So this I'm gonna go ahead and put away in my Alex drawers over here. And make sure I don't fall over anything. <laughs> um, so this is my, these are all my Alex drawers and I have them um, labeled according to, you know, different things that I have in here. The top two drawers are vintage stationery that I have found through thrifting and things like that. And then um, the third drawer is things that I've kind of gotten off of Etsy or in kits or things like that. So I kind of keep those things separate because um, I use them for different things. So I'm just going to hopefully I have enough room. I have plenty of room in here. I'm actually... I'm gonna pop these in, in this back area here. So I have this little box kind of use, being used as a divider and I can always pull that box out and kind of go through the, the vintage stationery when I need to. So that all fits in there nicely. So I'm trying not to stuff all my drawers full of things. So that's why I gotta kind of <laughs> like, just make sure that I'm, I, if, if I have enough stationery that I don't get more, but the, the kits, they, they have a nice little sampling of things and it's just like one or two pieces. So it's, it's perfect. And I usually end up using it for a project anyway. So, so that's fine. And over here on the floor, a lot of times I'll just throw things on the floor because these are going to go into my little pullout drawers I have over here, but this is all of my, um, or these are all of the kind of vintage ledger paper and invoices. And then there's some envelopes and little bags and things like that that came with the kit. So I'm going to go ahead and put those away too. So let's see. Actually, I'm going to try to separate these. Oh, there's, yeah, there's envelopes too. So I'm going to separate these. I thought this was so cute too. I just noticed this when I pulled the kit apart. 
Um, she had this envelope. This is kind of a long business envelope. She had it folded like this with a little tab taken out of the top. And then she had some little pieces of ephemera and things tucked in to this pocket and then the other pocket. And I think it had like a paper clip on the side of it. So I thought, what a cute way to uh, display something or even use in a junk journal. Like you could just put this right in the journal and then have the little the little pocket tuck here. I just thought that was so cute. So um, I'm going to put this in my little envelope area. So I'm just going to gather this stuff up. Okay, so these are my um, iris drawers that they have. They're, they're mainly used for, they're usually used for, you know, scrapbooking projects. Uh, they fit 12 by 12 paper, but I like to use them for storage of my junk journal supplies. So I hope it's not too dark in here. I have my lamps on. That's another thing I like to do kind of like my low lighting when I'm organizing and just doing something that doesn't require a lot of light. Um, I just feel like it makes the makes it like calm and cozy and just kind of um, just makes it like a fun afternoon to just sit and kind of, um, you know, go through your things and, and organize. Um, so hopefully leave me a comment if you don't like when I have the lamps on and I you'd rather have the overhead lighting because I know it is brighter, but um, I don't know. I was trying to like have a little more like a, just a kind of calmer look to the, to the video. But um, anyway, so my lined paper, I keep up at the top here. And these are all of my loose sheets of ledger paper. And I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, it's mostly just ledger paper. So I'm going to put, yeah, it's only, because I, I have um, other lined paper in um, a different drawer. So this is just different ledger paper and loose pieces. I have a separate drawer that I keep all of my um, actual paper pads that have ledger paper in them. So I'm just going to pop these in here real quick. Um, actually, I don't even think I have, I think that was it. Yeah, the rest of these are going to go in a different container. So that's my kind of journal paper or lined paper container. And then this is lined paper and guest checks. So this is where I keep all the fun things like the old, the vintage uh, invoices and library card pockets and that kind of thing. So I got some kind of some fun things from the kit. This, I don't know if anybody remembers this kind of printer paper. It was the green and white uh, paper that would you'd have to attach it to the side of the um, printer. I was probably younger when I, I didn't have to actually attach it myself, but I remember getting these in school. So I thought <laughs> this was kind of funny to get, get a little piece of this. So I'm going to pop this right in here too, along with some, I've got, um, I can't remember if I put, oh yeah, I put game, game pieces too in here as well. So there's invoices and then I have a couple of bridge scorecards, canasta. I like that one. Another canasta here, pop in there. Eventually I may put these in little envelopes. Here's a little index card that was in there too. And then just some more slips. This is a shipping paper and then another little invoice. So I'll just pop that in there. Okay, and then the last drawer I'm going to pull out is this cards and envelopes, and that's where I'm going to pop in um, these envelopes here, just some fun things that came with the kit. And then I also keep, I have a couple different places for bags, um, but bags that I use for packaging, I keep in a separate drawer. Bags that I would want to use for journaling that maybe have a little bit more use out of them, I'll just pop in this container here. So envelopes, bags, that kind of thing goes in here. So having these little storage, labeled storage containers just makes cleanup so easy. Um, and it really goes quickly. So, okay. So back up on the table, I'm probably just going to pull this container up here on the table. Um, these are all of my kind of sewing themed papers. And I have this big file box right here 
And I'm just going to bring this up to the table so you can kind of see it up close. So I've shown this in, in previous organization videos, but this is just, a, I got this from Target, big file box. This I keep all of my loose journal making papers, so all the loose vintage papers. And I have it divided up by theme, so craft sewing, cooking, children's book pages, fashion, you know, just it goes on and on. <laughs> so I think I pretty much covered all the bases, though, that anything I don't have a section for, I just pop in the front here, and um, I can always take a look at that. But this is just all sewing right here, all these papers are. So I, I am going to put them into the crafts and sewing section right here. So that's all put away. And then this thing is getting really thick. I can hardly close it anymore, but I'm still able to kind of close it. So, so that's all set to go. And then I'm just going to pop this in over here. All right. Then what else do I have? So these are things that kind of have to go over on the floor here. So I'll bring you over here with me. So pieces of wallpaper, playing cards, wrapping paper, and a napkin. Oh, and I have some, this is some really cute scrapbook paper uh, pieces that kind of went along with this, with another kit that I had gotten from, for the October the paper tabby kit. It's kind of a holly hobby theme. So these I'm going to pop in my scrapbook scraps uh, box because I think they're small enough that I think they'll, they'll fit in there and then they won't get lost among the bigger papers. So let's go down here and we'll kind of put this stuff away down here. Okay, so my large scraps. I'm just going to pop this in there. I need to go through this and kind of organize everything, but but I actually like it kind of disorganized because you can kind of rifle through it and kind of find new things to use. Then I have vintage wallpaper and wrapping paper in this container here. So here I'm going to put... I've got a couple of strips of wallpaper. So I've got, I kind of organized this a little bit where I have Ziploc bags that have the smaller pieces of wrapping paper. So I'm going to pop in, I know I saw a piece in here. Oh, here it is. So I have a couple pieces of wrapping paper. This is from the Paper Tabby sewing kit, and then this is from the Holly Hobby kit, a really cute piece of wrapping paper. So I'm just going to put this in here. These are the smaller pieces of wrap. And then I have some bigger pieces that I kind of have in Ziplocs too, because this keeps them all from getting wrinkled. And then underneath, I have wallpaper. I don't have a ton of wallpaper, but what I do have, um, this actually got off of Etsy. I'll show you this. These are kind of fun. I forget what shop I got this from, but these were great pieces of vintage wallpaper. I've used a couple of them on some of my journals. Um, but there's still a lot to use, so I'm excited to still have all this. But um, so this is really nice. I use like the wallpaper for pockets. Um, you could also cover the inside. I mean, these are big enough to cover the inside of a journal too, which I may do. Actually, that's a good. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I I'm making this. Actually, I'll pull it down here. I showed you guys this in my last video. I'm making this kind of ladies themed journal. I actually might. I wanted to recover the inside of it because I didn't really think this paper kind of went with what I was looking for. But I actually might use some of that wallpaper and just, I think there's enough that I could cover both sides. So I may do that. See, that's what happens when you start putting things away. You start to get more inspired because you, you start to get ideas about what things you want to, the way you want to use things. So um, that's another great 
way you're not you're not actually wasting your time by putting things away because you're getting the job done plus you're kind of getting new ideas on things to do so so that's always nice um but i have these little strips of wallpaper here from my paper tabby kit so i'm just going to pop those in here for safekeeping um oh i have these two so i'm going to put these here and i'll just put this bubble wrap on top and then i'll pop the rest of the stuff right on top here these iris cases are my favorite one of my favorite uh organizational uh containers they just they fit so much and i like them too because the tops are kind of domed so you can stuff a little bit more in there and still be able to close the lid so that's always nice okay so I've got that in there. And then let's see what else I have. I have this card. It's kind of like a vintage office, uh, like an index card that I got with the kit. So I think I'm going to put that over with my vintage office, in my vintage office drawer here. Oops. So that goes in there. And then let's see what else we have. I've got a uh, sewing pattern. This is really cute. I have a lot of pattern envelopes. I probably don't need any more. <laughs> but I was recently at a thrift store and I got like 10 for like 75 cents or something. And I couldn't pass it up because they're really great for using. Um, you can make covers out of them. You can do use them for pages. Um, if they're in really good shape, you could actually just glue it right into the journal and use it as kind of an envelope to keep ephemera. There's all different ways you can use it, but just, I love the images on the front. Um, so I have a couple of drawers just for pattern envelopes. Um, let me see. I'll probably just stick this underneath here. That fits pretty well. And then let's see, Vintage Home. This is kind of a new drawer that I created. This is kind of like has just tags and things in it. So I think I'm going to put the zipper in there. I got the zipper with the kit and um, I haven't found anything to use it for yet. So I'm just going to pop it in here for now. And then I also got this little uh, snap fastener tag that still has some of the snaps on it. And that's just got some great images too. So I'm going to pop that in there too. So that's it for that. And then I have this... Um, napkin this holly hobby napkin and i'm going to put that down here in my napkins and doilies drawer so this is just a drawer that i have kind of um i have some vintage napkin things this was a great find i love these napkins and then i have some not necessarily vintage but they're napkins that would be really fun in a journal so i i picked those up too and then just some extra doilies and things like that so i've got a drawer just for that kind of stuff and then the last thing i have to put away are these playing cards and i just got a variety of playing cards with my uh kit so just kind of like some fall themed things and i think actually this went with the Holly Hobby kit, and then this was with the sewing kit. So um, just some nice um, different different images on the playing cards. So this is all of my loose ephemera, and this is in the iris case. It's actually for photos, and um, I just keep all my ephemera in these little boxes in here. So I still need, I have some of this stuff to put away too. This is more ephemera that I got from the kit. Lots of tags and things like that. So we'll go through this and kind of put everything away too. So this is nice because it keeps everything. I actually got this idea from Kitty Witty Paper Craft. She's got great videos and just the most adorable craft room. Um, but she had these uh, storage containers and I thought that was a great way to keep ephemera. I, I've always kept my scrapbook ephemera in little cases like this, but I never thought to do it with a smaller kind of junk journal ephemera. And it's nice because you can label everything and um, put everything in its place. So I actually have a box for playing cards right here. 
and it's kind of filling up. But so these are all my loose playing cards, kind of everything that doesn't have a, a like a partner to it. It's just all they're all kind of just loose. Uh, and they're also cards that I got from different places on Etsy. Um, I'm trying to think eBay. I think I got some cards, too. Um, so they're all housed in here. So pop that away. And then let's see what else. Try to get... Actually, I'm going to take these things out and kind of organize them. So I've got a bingo card. And then some ephemera came with the, the kit. And then I've got some money. So these would be under game pieces. This is actually... This would actually go in my box of lined paper. So I'm going to put that off to the side for now. This is tags. More tags. Tickets. Um, I know I had one of these. I don't know if this goes with game if I'm or not. I can't remember. This is just more little, little ephemera. Um, I know I have a spot for these. I need to remember where I put them. I think I labeled them somewhere. Actually, this goes this goes in the office drawer, vintage office, because I have a couple of other of these um, slide frames. So let's see. Tags. Here's a little flash card. I know I have a place for that. Um, actually, I have a little container for vintage people, so I think I'm going to put these girls in there. Um... This is going to, I'm going to put this under stamps. And this, I don't know where I'm going to put this. I'll stick that over here for now. Let's see, a coupon. I don't know if that would go under tags or not. We'll have to see. Tickets. It's another tag. And then the rest is... Ephemera. I don't know. I might put this with the ladies. Oh, here's stamps. I know I have a stamp. Another ticket. Stamp. More ephemera. All right. And that's it. Okay, so now I just all I have to do is just take each little box out and I can pop everything in there. So this is for tickets. I don't know. Is a coupon a ticket? I'm going to say it is. Or actually, is it money? I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in with money. <laughs> I, I like to micro-organize, so I'm always organizing right down to the very, like, as organized as I can get. Um, let's see. This is, oh, this is labels. That's not what I need. Um, tags, tags. Okay, this, I have actually a couple of boxes for tags. So I'm going to pop this in with my tags. Then I have postage stamps. It goes in here. And then let's see, bingo and flashcards. I don't know if this card's gonna fit. I have a spot right down here for bingo cards that are too big. So I just pop them right in the corner here. Um, bingo and flashcards. So this would be a flashcard. So that would go in there. Okay. And then, oh, retro people. This one I have, um, just lots of different kind of vintage ladies, paper dolls, things like that. Um, some ephemera from, I believe it's pretty little studio. I want to say. So I've got that in there. So I'm going to add these ladies to that. Because if I'm looking for kind of like a retro style person or face or something for a journal, I, I'd look in this box here. Okay, and then let's 
see. We already did playing cards. Um, I can't remember where I put the paper money. I think I might have actually put it in bingo and flashcards. So let me look again. Yes, I did. So I'm just going to pop all these in here. Because it kind of all has something to do with kind of like games and, um, you know, the, the, the play money and the, the money wraps kind of have, I feel like they could go in kind of a game type box. So that's everything with my ephemera. And then I just have this paper ephemera, which I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. Oh, here's a stamp. Oh, and then in here, I actually found a couple little labels. That kind of goes with office supply. So I'm going to pop these in here. And then on my way to my ephemera drawer, I will pop these in the office, vintage office drawer. And then I am going to pop these in my paperclip container. Okay, so we'll stop off at vintage office. <laughs> Actually, oh, yeah, this is where I have, I have these Kodachrome frames too. So I'm just going to pop these in here. Put the label up here. And then um, this I'm going to put in, I have this small scraps tin. I'm just going to pop this right in here. That way, I don't know if I'm looking for something small to make a cluster or something, I can just look in there. Um, and then let's go over here. Okay, so this is right behind my card making desk. I have down in this very bottom drawer, I have just kind of some random iris cases that have scrapbooking ephemera in them. And I actually don't have any more iris cases. Um, so I'm just gonna use this little plastic bag. And there isn't there isn't that much ephemera in here, but I'm just gonna pop it on top of here. And then I'll know if I wanna, where where to find it if I wanted to use that for a project. So I'm going to just keep it in here. And I have just basically all of my extra little paper ephemera that isn't Maggie Holmes or um, some sort of a vintage look. So I just have it down here. And then for my paper clips, I have, this is my cart that I keep my Gemini on. And way at the bottom, I have clips. So a lot of times I'll use these clips for you know, my journal making or if I'm packaging up a uh, something for Etsy, I will, you know, add a paper clip with my card or something to it. And I have kind of different containers for the different clips. But I've got this one here. This is so cute. I found this on Amazon, but it twists open. And I use this um, when I'm to hold my journals open when I'm sewing the signatures in. So I use these little paper clips here. Those are really helpful. But then I also keep just different sized um, kind of decorative paper clips in each of these little areas. So I'm just gonna put these right in here. So those will be there for safekeeping. And then I'll just pop this back underneath. This is my messy corner <laughs> that you don't usually see, but I'll, I'll give you a peek really quick. This is where I keep extra um, baskets and bins that I use when I'm, uh, if I'm creating a project or something and I need something to kind of house all the ephemera, I'll grab a basket real quick just to use. Or if I'm uh, making a card and I want to grab all the stamps and things I want to use just for that particular card, I'll use a, a basket or something just to kind of house everything. So that corner does not look good, but there's not much I can do with it because of the pole that's um, for the basement is right there. So <laughs> so there's not much I can do, but but that's okay. I never I never usually show that on video, so... So, but now you've seen it. Um, anyway, so let's take a look. So, oops, I still have to put this away. 
but that's easy enough. Pop this back in here like that. All right, so this desk is ready for me. I'm gonna be working on my ladies journal, so my housewife journal. I've got the cover all set to go. I just need to, uh, I think I'm gonna do some fabric on the binding and then I'm gonna get my pages together. I've got my, if you haven't seen the video yet on how I made uh, my master board, using a bunch of really fun vintage sewing images. Um, you can take a look at that over on my channel. Um, so this is kind of some of the pages and parts I'm gonna be using in the journal, but I still have to pick all my uh, papers to go in it too. So the, the desk is ready to take on my next project. I've got my glue ready. Um, I've got my covers all ready, and then I'm just gonna keep all this stuff out. I've got my scissors, all my tape and score tape and everything like that. And I got everything cleaned up. So I'm feeling like, you know, getting cleaned up kind of inspires me a little bit. And hopefully it's inspired you to get started on some projects. Um, let me know in the comments if, if there's anything that you're um, going to be starting to work on now that the holidays are coming or if there's, um, you know, particular things you uh you're looking forward to doing during the holiday season in your craft room, um, whether it's decorating it or um, just, you know, your projects, cards, scrapbooks, journals, anything like that. I'd love to hear about it. And um, thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you in my next video.